Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Late Air Mobility and Beta complete eVTOL test flight. Object downed by USAF, possibly launched by hobbyists. And Virgin Orbit reports on anomalous UK mission. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight. From electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Blade Air Mobility and Beta complete eVTOL test flight. New York's Blade Air Mobility and Beta Technologies conducted a recent successful test flight of Beta's ALEA 250 electric vertical aircraft at the Westchester County Airport in White Plains, New York. The flight marked the first test of a piloted EVA in the greater New York City area and instantiated an initial success of the two companies' plan to bring safe, quiet, and sustainable air transportation to commuter and commercial customers. Beta's ALEA 250 eVTOL's lift scheme comprises rotor-borne vertical lift and wing-borne forward lift. Transition between the two lift architectures is via the engagement of an aft fuselage-mounted pusher propeller and stowage of the aircraft's fixed forward and aft rotor parts. By eschewing articulating hinged rotors, Beta engineers reduce the complexity and manufacturing cost of its eVTOL offering. The ALEA 250's alveolar helicopter-like fuselage and cabin accommodate up to six occupants. Beta's rapid charging system offers ALEA 250 operators a charging capacity of 480 volts AC, three phase at 60 Hz, with an AC grade current of 450 amps and a continuous power rating of 350 kilovolt amps. The system further offers a battery charge range of up to 950 volts DC, with a continuous charge current of 350 amps and boost charge current of 500 amps. So powered, the ALEA 250 manages a range of approximately 250 nautical miles and a maximum cruise speed of 146 knots. And after the break, Mission Go applauds bipartisan drone legislation. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next 10 minutes. Mission Go applauds bipartisan drone legislation. Mission Go has lauded the introduction of bipartisan legislation aiming to create a streamlined and actionable approval process by which federal regulatory agencies, primarily the FAA, may assess and certify UAS BV loss operations. Introduced by U.S. Senators John Thune, Republican of South Dakota, and Mark R. Warner, Democrat of Virginia, the legislation encourages the U.S. to gain ground recently lost to numerous European and Asian nations the civil aviation authorities of which have long since approved, codified, and overseen the implementation of domestic BB loss operations. Leak in second Soyuz capsule further delays ISS crew rotation. ISS safety has been of concern since a Russian Soyuz sprang a coolant leak in December. Soyuz capsules also act as lifeboats in which station personnel may shelter or escape in the event of emergency. NASA astronaut Frank Rubio and Russian cosmonauts Sergei Propkopiev and Dmitry Pedelin traveled to the ISS aboard MS-22 last year and were to return this March via the same vehicle. Last week, Russian technicians determined the new Soyuz by which the crew was to have been fetched home had sprung a leak similar to that seen on Soyuz MS-22. Roscosmos set forth that it would push the launch of the replacement spacecraft to March. FAA grants New York Power Authority BB loss waiver. The New York Power Authority has received FAA approval to employ its unmanned aircraft systems in beyond visual line-of-sight operations. The aforementioned approval authorizes NYPA to conduct fully remote drone operations in support of undertakings such as asset and vegetation management inspections at its Blenheim Gilboa Pump Storage Power Project in East Central New York State's Schoharie County. NYPA's drone program helps safeguard and maintain the company's assets and is part of an authority-wide digitization initiative. 
NASA's Perseverance rover photographs its accomplishments. NASA's Perseverance touched down on the red planet surface in February 2021. As of February 16, 2023, the contraption has been dutifully traversing Mars's inhospitable vistas for 728 Earth days. Over the course of five weeks beginning in December 2022, Perseverance busied itself constructing a sample depot atop a patch of Martian ground called Three Forks. Presently, the cache comprises 10 sealed titanium tubes, eight containing samples of Martian rock and regolith, one containing a sample of Mars's atmosphere, and a witness tube preloaded with materials capable of capturing molecular and particulate contaminants. Well, that was our next gen minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Object down by USAF possibly launched by hobbyists. A group of aerial hobbyists in northern Illinois is contending that an unidentified flying object shot out of U.S. skies last week by a $400,000 AIM-9 Sidewinder missile fired from a $334 million F-22 Raptor might have been their $12 balloon. On Wednesday, February 15, 2023, the Northern Illinois Bottle Cap Balloon Brigade declared one of its exploratory Pico balloons had gone missing. A Pico balloon is a 3-foot Mylar foil party balloon filled partially with ultra-pure helium gas. Commonly equipped with a single 13-gram solar-powered automatic packet reporting system transmitter, the contraptions are designed to travel aloft for long distances at high altitudes and not be recovered. On many occasions, PICO balloons, which are functionally exempt from FAA airspace regulations in so much as they mass less than 6 pounds, have repeatedly circumnavigated the globe before finally descending. What's more is they can be purchased for as little as $12. The last transmission made by the Pico balloon belonging to the Bottle Cap Balloon Brigade was reportedly broadcast on February 10, 2023 from a point 38,910 feet above Alaska's north coast. The balloon at that time was moving east toward Canada's Yukon Territory. The following day, U.S. officials alleged an F-22 fighter jet had downed an object floating over the Yukon Territory at an approximate altitude of flight level 400. And after these messages, Virgin Orbit reports on anomalous UK mission. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Virgin Orbit reports on anomalous UK mission. Virgin Orbit's principal offering is its Launcher 1 rocket, an air-launched two-stage orbital launch vehicle designed to carry small sat payloads of up to 660 pounds into sun-synchronous orbit following air launch from a Boeing 747 carrier aircraft dubbed Cosmic Girl. On January 9, 2023, during the vehicle's first attempted orbital launch from the UK, Launcher 1 experienced an anomaly leading to a premature shutdown of the rocket's second stage engine and failure to attain orbit. Within hours of the mission's conclusion, Virgin Orbit, under the auspices of aerospace veteran Jim Sponick and company chief engineer Chad Forster, commenced investigating the failure. Investigators have confirmed thus far that Virgin Orbit's team correctly and successfully executed pre-flight preparations, carrier aircraft takeoff, captive carry flight, and rocket release. The Launcher 1 vehicle's ignition, first stage flight, stage separation, second stage ignition, and fairing deployment were all nominal. Thereafter, a fuel filter within the fuel feed line may have been dislodged from its normal position. Additional data indicates a fuel pump downstream of the aforementioned filter operated at a degraded efficiency level, resulting in fuel starvation of the rocket's Newton 4 engine. Components adjacent to and in the vicinity of the atypically hot engine malfunctioned, thereby causing premature termination of the rocket's second stage thrust. Early thrust termination precluded the launch vehicle's continued ascent. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.